हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्किल्स बिल ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम ए हाईली पेड आईटी प्रो रियली फास्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडे इज वीडियो इज टॉप सेवन बेस्ट लाइट वेट लिनिक्स डिस्ट्रोज फॉर परफॉर्मेंस एंड स्पीड सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Number one, Ubuntu. If I say that Ubuntu is one of the most prominent and most used Linux distribution, it would not be wrong. Ubuntu is a lightweight and a high-speed Linux distribution that offer users all the features that they look for in a Linux distribution. Along with its speed and performance, some other feature makes this Linux distribution first choice for a lot of users. This Linux distribution is based on Debian which means you will have many applications and packages to download and install in it. Let's explore the system and let's see what it has to offer. So first of all I will talk about the desktop of this beautiful distribution. As we know that this Linux distribution uses the GNOME desktop environment and that is why we have a very clean and sleek user interface here. At the bottom we have a button that says show application. Other than that we have some of the application on the right side of the screen. And if you look at the top right corner here we have some of the utilities that we can access. From here you can control the sounds, then you have your wired connection. You can access the settings of the system directly and then you can power off log out the system from here. So that was all about it. And now let's see what are the default application. So just click on this button that says show applications. And in here we have all those applications that come by default. For web browser, we have Mozilla Firefox as a default one. And we also have an archive manager for archiving and zipping different files. And then we also have software updater in here. This will help you to update your software in case if there is any update then in terms of files manager we have files as default just click on it and it will open every repository and every folder that exists in your system now let's see if we have multiple desktop available in ubuntu just hit your super key and here we do have multiple desktop at the moment we are on to the first one so i will just open my files in here and now if i press my super key here we have second desktop available. So it means you can have as many desktop as you like in Ubuntu and you can keep working on one type of work in each desktop at a time. And now let's see some of the system information and what the system has to offer regarding the system specification. This is the NeoFetch utility that gives the information about this system. In terms of OS, obviously it is Ubuntu kernel is 5.11 and in shell we are using the bash version 5.017 in terms of theme this linux distribution has yaro and in terminal obviously we are using genome terminal and then we have some of the cpu and gpu information in the end let's have a sneak peek at the resource usages of this linux distribution for that we have one more utility that is called top so i will just write here top hit enter and here we have some of the system resource usages information as we have some of the processes users and percentage of those processes used by the system so here we can see that how much system resources this linux distribution is using so that was all about the Ubuntu and now let's move on to the next Linux distribution. Number 2 Ubuntu Mate This Linux distribution is based on an Ubuntu based operating system but adds the Mate desktop environment. That is why it is called Ubuntu Mate. It is a very lightweight Linux distribution and because of that it is perfect for older machine. People choose this Linux distribution because of its stability and fast performance and as it is based on Ubuntu operating system you will get almost the same packages softwares and applications now let's see what this Linux distribution offers in terms of the feature first of all let's talk about the desktop 
This Linux distribution has a very clean desktop environment. At the top right corner, we have some of the utilities that we can use. We have volume, then we have system notification, and then we can access the system settings directly from here. And on the top left corner, we have menu button. And if you see at the right bottom corner, we have some of the desktop and recycle bin, or you can also say the trash. And now if I right click on my screen, from here, you can access some of the utilities like you can open your terminal, you can create new folder and you can create different new documents. And along with that, you can also change the desktop background. And now let's see some of the default application that this Linux distribution offers. If you just click on your menu button or if you just hit your super key, here we have some of the categories of all the applications that are available in this Linux distribution. So in terms of accessories, we have Mate Calculator, Mate Search Tool, then we have Plank, Ploma, Take Screenshot and many other things. In terms of graphics, we have Mate Color Selection. In terms of Internet, Mozilla Firefox is the default web browser. And in terms of Office, we have Mate Dictionary and Document Viewer. Then in Sound and Video, we do not have anything. Then we have some of the system tools in which we will get terminal, system updater, system monitor, and many other things. So these were some of the default application that we get in Ubuntu Mate. Let's see if we have multiple desktops available or not. If you see at the bottom right corner, here we have some of the desktop or you can say the workspaces. Well, at the moment we have four of them available. This is the first one if I just open my file in here. And now if I click on second one, here you can see we have nothing on the second one because we have our files open in the first one. So we can use four workspaces at a time in our Ubuntu Mate. And that proves that Ubuntu Mate focuses on the productivity for the users. And now let's see some of the system information in terms of resource usages. So here you can see this system is only using almost 740 megabytes of RAM. This is not a lot of resources. It means you can use this Linux distribution on older system. And that was all about the Ubuntu Mate number three LXLE. If you have a system with at least 512 megabytes of RAM and one gigabytes of hard disk space, you can enjoy using the LXLE. It is another Linux distribution based on Ubuntu and it is an LTS version and has support for at least five years. This distro focuses on stability and efficiency. The developers of distributions have spent a lot of time improving this distribution's performance and this Linux distribution is available in 34 and 64 bit versions. This distribution has a lot to offer despite its size. In terms of the desktop, the interface is very beautiful and offers a lot of information to use. And the center at the top, we have time, we have date and we have weather information. If you just click on it, it will open the application related to your weather forecast. So here we have all the information about the weather for the next three days. Other than that, at the right top corner, we have some of the system resource information. Here you can see it is telling us the CPU usage at a time, which is only being used about 1%. Then we have RAM usage, which is about 340 megabytes, which is almost 17% of the total system. And at the top left corner, we have some of the applications that are docked and then we have application launcher button. And then at the bottom right corner, we have some other utilities. Now let's see what are the default applications available in this Linux distribution. So I will just click on application launcher button. So in terms of accessories, obviously, first of all, we have file manager, then we have calculator that is a utility. Then we also have an application to take screenshots in this one. We also have weather that I have already shown you. And then in terms of audio and video, we have a lot of application and that is very surprising because in Ubuntu Mate, we did not have a lot of things in terms of audio and video. As we have Audacity, then we have simple screen recorder. We also have many other application. We also have some of the games. 
In terms of graphic, we also have some of the tools and applications that we can use. In terms of internet, we have some of the mail client and some of the web browser applications available as well. And in terms of office, we have different application that we can use. For example, we have composer, dictionary, calendar, Abbey word, that is a document composer. At the end, we have control menu in which we have some of the access, hardware, security, settings, software, and utilities application. For example, if you go into your security, here we will have every information regarding the firewall, log of the system and password and keys. And if you go into your software from here, you will get the Synaptic Package Manager, which will help you to download and install different packages into your system. So that was all about the default applications. And now let's see the multiple desktops. Well, if you see at the bottom right corner, here we have some of the small windows. These are basically the multiple desktop or you can also call it as workspaces. Let me open my file manager in here. If I click on second window, here I have nothing in this one because this is a different workspace. Same goes for the third one and last one. That was all about the LXLE. Number four, NTX. NTX is one of the best option that you can consider if you have a system with limited resources. NTX is one of the best options that you can consider if you have a system with limited hardware resources. NTX uses the ISWM with Rocks file manager and that makes it a very lightweight Linux distribution. Although it is based on Ubuntu, it also has a repository that you can use to download different softwares, applications, etc. For many people, the excellent feature of this distribution is that it gives you some system information on the desktop without opening any application. As you can see, we have some of the system resource information. Along with being lightweight and responsive, this Linux distribution is very user friendly. So download this Linux distribution and enjoy the speed with an excellent interface. Now let's see some of the features. First of all, if we talk about the desktop, we have a very clean desktop in here. At the bottom left corner, we have the application launcher button, or you can also say the menu. Then we have some of the applications that are docked. For example, we have web browser, we have our files, and then we have our software installer. At the bottom right corner, we have some of the utilities, like we have time, volume, and then we can exit from the system. If we talk about the default application, so I will just click on this menu button and I will go to my applications. In terms of accessories, we have multiple applications as you can see. In terms of games, we have two of them available. In terms of graphics, we have almost six applications available. In terms of internet, we have Firefox, we have Genome, Triple P, Links2, Search Bar, and WPA GUI. These are some of the applications in the list. In terms of multimedia, this Linux distribution has a lot of application to offer. Well, this is very surprising for me as well because in some of the Linux distribution, which are major one like Ubuntu, Pop OS, Manjaro, Fedora, we do not get these number of application in one category. We only get two or three application in one category, but here we have a lot of them. In terms of Office, LibreOffice is the default here. And that's really surprising because I was not expecting this kind of application in this lightweight Linux distribution. Then we have preferences and at the end we have programming and at last we have system. And in system, we will have all those applications that are related to system information. For example, we have HTOP here. I will talk about this later. Let's see if we have multiple workspaces available or not. As we have seen till now that we get at least four workspaces, but in NTX, we have two of them available, but still that is enough. So you can open different application in these workspaces and you can start working. Now let's see some of the system resource usages. So at the moment, the system is using almost 186 megabytes of RAM and in terms of swappiness value, it is not using anything. And in terms of disk, only 4.29 gigabytes of memory has been used out of 18.5 gigabytes. And at the top, 
it gives the system information about the resolution then we have cpu usage information frequency and other thing and a very interesting thing about this linux distribution is if you just click on your screen either it's right or left click it doesn't matter after that go to your desktop and here it says other desktop so here you have a lot of option that you can choose so if i go with fluxbox here it has changed the desktop and it has changed the taskbar so you can explore this one and you can have a lot of option that you can choose and you can use in your ntx linux distribution so that was all about it and now let's move on to the next one number five linux Lite. linux Lite is a full-fledged linux distribution that requires limited hardware resources this linux distribution is explicitly designed for windows users some of the applications you usually get in windows operating system are in this distro by default and that makes it easier for the windows users to adapt to this linux distribution if you have a bit latest machine you will be amazed to see how smoothly it runs you can use this linux distribution if you have a laptop or computer with one gigabytes of ram and four gigabytes of hard disk despite its size this distribution is compelling fast and reliable it is based on Lubuntu, which is based on Ubuntu based operating system and uses the LXDE as a desktop environment. Like any other Linux distribution, this one is fast, secure and very reliable. Now let's see some of the features of this beautiful Linux distribution. So first of all, if we talk about the user interface, as I have mentioned that Windows users will love this one because the interface is pretty similar to the Windows 7 because we have menu button here then we have some of the application then we have some of the utilities at the bottom right corner and then we have some of the applications icon at our desktop if you just right click on your desktop it offers you to do different things for example you can open your terminal you can open your task manager you can take the screenshot straight away from here other than that it also offers you to have different desktop settings reached from here and now let's see what are the default application so i will just click on menu and here we have some of the categories and these categories are very clean and in our very details so in terms of settings we have some of the utilities and applications for example we can go to our desktop we can go to our displays file manager settings and firewall and if you keep scrolling down it will give you more and more thing here we have all applications which are available in this system but i will talk about some of the major one for example in terms of internet mozilla firefox is a default web browser then in terms of mail we have thunderbird now at the end i will talk about the graphics and here we have gnu image editor which is also called as GIMP. Then we have Paint and we have Photo Manager. So that's a really cool thing that this Linux distribution has almost every major application available in here. Now let's see the workspaces. Here we have two of workspaces available in here. At the end, let's have some of the system resource usages information. And as you can see here, it is only using 650 megabytes of RAM at the moment. And this is not a very big number. It means if you have system with limited hardware resources, you can consider downloading and installing this Linux distribution. Along with fast speed and performance, this Linux distribution has to offer almost everything that you can look for in any major Linux distribution out there. Number six, Manjaro. There are some Linux distributions that you will love no matter what operating system you might have used in the past. Manjaro is one of them. This Linux distribution is based on Arc Linux operating system. This means you will have tremendous community support and a massive library of software, packages and applications to download and install in it. Compared to the other five distributions that I have discussed, Manjaro requires more system requirements, but this factor gets ignored when you see the performance and speed of this distribution. You can easily compare this Linux distribution with major distributions like Ubuntu, 
pop os linux mint etc now if we talk about some of the feature of this linux distribution the interface is very clean and very unique at the desktop we have some of the applications that are docked and at the bottom left corner we have application launcher button that also says application and at the bottom right corner we have notifications we have date and time then we have volume system information and many other utilities if i right click on my desktop from here i can access my terminal i can create different folders create document then we can also open different settings related to our desktop if we talk about some of the default application in this distribution i will just click on my applications and here we have some of the categories of these applications. So let's see what do we have in terms of our games. So I will just click here and here we have Steam available and it means you can download and play different games in your Manjaro with the help of your Steam. In terms of accessories, we have a lot of things. In terms of graphics, we have GIMP, we have G-Color 2. In terms of internet, Mozilla Firefox is a default web browser and for mail client, we have Thunderbird. In terms of multimedia, we have almost six applications and VLC is also there. In terms of Office, we do not have LibreOffice. We might have to download, but we do have only Office available in here. So these were some of the default application. And in terms of multiple desktop, we have two of them available. So obviously it will increase the productivity. And at the end, let's see some of the system resource usages. Here we have all the information about system resource usages. Although this Linux distribution is a bit heavier, but still it is only using 536 megabytes of RAM. This is not a very big number in terms of the resource usages. Other than that, we have some of the swappiness values, some of the tasks, some of the processes that are running in the system. That was all about this one. And with that, let's move on to the last Linux distribution of today's video. Number seven, Fedora. This one is my favorite Linux distribution because this Linux distribution is bleeding edge. This means an operating system with the regular latest and most significant software updates, new features and drivers. In terms of performance and speed, this Linux distribution comes nothing short in these regards. You will enjoy using it as it is very user friendly and stable. Its software center offers you vast options of softwares to download and use. And as this Linux distribution is based on the Linux kernel, you will enjoy immense community support and vast forums if you get into any problem. Now let's explore some of the system feature. At the moment, I am using Fedora 35. So first of all, let's start with multiple desktop as it is open in front of us. So here by this small screen, you might have an idea that we get four of workspaces in this Fedora. And now in terms of the desktop, if I right click on my screen, from here I can change my background, I can have different display setting and in that I can have different resolutions, different font size and many other things. At the bottom we have settings. Other than that, at the top center of your screen, we get our date and time and if you just click on it, you will get all the system notification in here. And in the top right corner, we have battery usages and battery information. Then we have volume. And if you just click on it, you will be able to access a lot of things. And at the top left corner, you have activities button. So if I just click on activities, here we will have all the activities. And from here, we can access default applications. So from here, we can see that Mozilla Firefox is a default web browser. Then we have calendar, we have files, and then we have software center that we can use to download different applications. If I open my all applications, so in here we have system monitor, we have terminal, obviously we have boxes. And if I scroll down here, we have LibreOffice for our documents as a default. Then we have other applications as well. At the end, let's open our terminal. And in that, let's see what are the system resource usages information. So here I will just write top hit enter. At the moment, the system is using almost 1120 megabytes of RAM. So it means it is using a bit large number of system resource at the moment. But this factor will get ignored, I'm sure, when you will see the performance and speed of this Linux distribution. 
because this Linux distribution is very smooth, sleek, and very fast. With that, we are done with all the seven Linux distribution that you can consider for speed and performance along with being lightweight. Please leave a like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. We will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.